Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren and in today's video I am going to be giving you a flip through of my 2016 bullet journal, aka my first bullet journal ever. One important thing I would like to discuss before we start talking about my 2016 bullet journal is that a beginner's bullet journal will look completely different from the bullet journal of a person who's been journaling for four years, even two years, three years. Your journal is going to look so different because when you start bullet journaling, you're still trying to work out your own system, your own layouts, your own organization. It's not going to be perfect and you're not going to get it right on the first try. I see so many people in um, bullet journaling Facebook groups or on Instagram. They're always asking, you know, why does my journal not look as good as yours? Like, how do I be organized? I need help. And you know, my key advice is practice. Keep trying, try brand new things you've never tried before. See if you like them. And if you don't like them, go back to your old system. It took me four years to find a system in my bullet journal that I think worked for me. Nothing in this bullet journal works for me now, but it worked for me then until it didn't. And when it started to not work for me, that's when I changed. Don't be afraid of change. Don't be afraid of experimenting. Try new things in your bullet journal because it's yours, honestly. And you need to find what you know. You can't just copy what you see people on the internet doing. You have to, you know, put it to the test yourself. And so I'll point out where in this journal things went, were good for me and where things started to go bad for me. So this is a A5-ish size lined notebook. I got it for free from my high school. <laughs> Someone in my class had it. I traded them something for it. So I basically got it for free. You don't have to start off with a fancy notebook, you know. Just start off what, with what you have on hand. And then you'll grow from there. You'll learn what you like and what you don't like from your beginning notebook. So let's get into the flip through. So real quick, let's talk about my cover. I have this rainbow washi tape display. <laughs> this was actually um, the first washi tape I ever owned. And while well, in college, my first year of college, I took each color of washi tape and put it on the corner of my desk and covered it with um, packing tape. And when I was moving out of that dorm, I didn't want to throw it away because that had been on the corner of my desk the entire semester, like the entire year. So I just took it off my desk and stuck it on my bullet journal. And it's a nice reminder. It also started a tradition of me like semi-decorating the covers of my notebooks. I started this notebook on March 3rd, sorry, March 23rd, 2016, and I ended this notebook on May 11th, 2017. As you can see, I got a pretty good use out of my index. That's because I literally wrote down every single week and what page every single week was on. Not very handy to future me, but in my head, I thought it was a good idea, and I ended, I numbered the pages myself. This notebook is unnumbered. This is a spread I saw on Pinterest when I first started out. I 
I was really into Zentangling. As you can see, I have paper clipped some pages together. Um, it's a bit embarrassing. That's why it's paper clipped together, but I will unpaper clip it for this video. Uh, Zane's new album came out, so I kind of wrote down my first thoughts of it. Yes. And then I have a long-term to-do list right here. And then this starts my first ever weekly spread. As you can see, I was already tired of <laughs> the lined pages so I started gluing in graph paper little bit of a brainstorming page I was really into these kind of weeklies as you can see and you know my first ever quote page. <laughs> this is probably one of my favorite spreads ever. I really liked the landing page for the month and this kind of sticky note separated weekly. I thought it was really cool. You know, things that happen in the month of May. As you can see, I really liked this. This one's a cool one. I kind of had a bit of a bullet system, but not really. I just used little boxes and colored them in. Again, here's another landing page I really liked. I did a sideways calendar for more space since I had a lot going on this month. There's all the events that were happening. I really didn't have a lot to put in my weeklies or, you know, yeah, I really didn't have a lot. Oh, and then I always write about my Disney trips in my bullet journals. So packing list agenda basically and then I would journal every day with pictures this is something that happens in literally all of my journals and then I tried something new really hated this <laughs> and as you can see my weekly spreads start to evolve as I start college you know, some notes. It's not pretty, as you can see. You know, it doesn't have to be pretty. I was still trying to find out what I liked about my journal, what I didn't like. I liked this page and nice little dining hall hours. <laughs> notes, important dates. I found myself not remembering. Like, for this, I found myself not remembering what was due when and what I needed to do for next week. You know, I didn't really have a good system set up yet. So in my first weekly spread of September, I put all my like to do slash tasks for that week there. And then on this page, I would do a notes section where I put upcoming events, due dates, things I needed to remember. It worked really well for me in the beginning because it was just like a brain dump page. I could put all my things I needed to know on. There are the due dates, you know, what's due next week, what I need to do. I, you know, I really didn't use this section of my journal as much. And as you can see, it's really ugly. Like, I had a pack of super tip Crayola markers and a ballpoint pen, and I made do, you know? 
It's not amazing looking, <laughs> but you know, it worked for a while. <laughs> This is something I tried for the first time, I think. I didn't like it, but you know, I didn't tear it out of my bullet journal. I kept it in and moved forward. Some notes from a lecture. This kind of to-do notes section like kept up for a while but as you can see I stopped using it a lot it became less and less helpful to me oh here's the first time I ever did a full spread calendar which is fun but as you can see I was still leaning towards graph paper even though I was using a lined notebook this is probably one of my favorite spreads, like this January 2017 thing. Beautiful. And then like my winter break packing list of everything I needed to pack from, you know, my dorm and all the things I need to bring back after break. Also, love this quote, create the things you wish existed. Here's another Disney packing list, same style. I've actually kept up this style up to now in 2020 with the same journaling styles. And then this is a trend I started and keep do and still do nowadays. I do a like year in review spread. So this was 2016's summary of all the things that happened to me in 2016. Pretty awesome. There's like little things like R.I.P. Vine, when movies came out, when songs came out, just things in my life like I dyed my hair, the election. I then tried doing something new. I found this pack of like calendars from Target in the dollar section and taped them into my bullet journal. Really didn't work, but you know, I was trying new things. I got more washi tape. <laughs> As you can see, I, I really didn't use washi tape at all. It wasn't something I found useful for my bullet journal. I hated washi tape for a while until I didn't, basically. You'll see probably when I start using washi tape. Here's a little bit of washi tape. I think I felt bad I wasn't using it. But yeah, no notes here. Just a quote. Let me go back to the notes. You see how like messy and not neat this is? This is a really cool page. I do I do like this. I had a very busy March coming up. So I wanted to have a page where I can see literally all of my tasks and their due dates, things I need to do for spring break, before spring break. You know, I had a nice little calendar I actually used. I started doing more quote pages. And then, you know, this weekly spread kind of just went downhill. There's no dates on it. I got a new washi tape and I got new pens. <laughs> I tried recreating that March spread. I don't think it really worked. I didn't use this. I 
as you can see, I kind of barely used my journal. Like, I would not write stuff in it for some reason. Like, just, I wouldn't. Nice little cute quote pages, checklist, <laughs> me and my roommate had. And then I finished my journal and wrote a little reflection. At the end of this reflection, you can see I wrote, sometimes looking through this journal, I wish I was neater, prettier, more organized, but I'm trying. I got lazy at the beginning of college because I didn't yet find a functional layout. It's not everything I wanted it to be, and I wished that these darn lines would go away. I was very frustrated by the lined paper. I felt very limited, you know, but in the end, I did it. I finished what is probably the first journal I've ever completely filled. Moving forward, I want to be more artistic and aesthetic. I want to do more lettering and picture usage. I want to have more fun pages, not just weekly spread after weekly spread. I have a lot of plans and I hope to see them through. And I'm even more excited to see what memories experience I'll fill in my next bullet journal. It's been a wild ride and I hope to keep changing on as I move forward. Pretty crazy, huh? So that was my first ever bullet journal, as you can see. And as past me wrote in the reflection period, it's not pretty. I was upset by that fact, like many begin beginners on the internet are. But, you know, I needed to get through the ugly stages before I could get to the pretty stages. So thank you so much for watching. If you would like to see my next bullet journal after this one, you can uh, subscribe to my channel to find out when I post that throwback Thursday flip through, or I will just link it in the end card or in the cards above um, in the description. I'll have a playlist probably, but this is the first video of many to come hopefully of bullet journal flip throughs because I have currently four bullet journals this being the first one. So I want to put them all up here so people can see my evolution and know that, you know, no matter how ugly your bullet journal is, you can grow <laughs> into something you want to be one day. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you stay safe and healthy and have a great day. Bye.